Hi everybody, I'm popping on here to do, redo last night's video. I don't know what happened to it, and it angered me enough to where I went to Hobby Lobby this morning, and I picked up more supplies. Now, I could not get the three inch, three inch uh, people that I did last night, but I was able to get, these are, They're in one inch. They're one inch. Peg people. Now there was a pack of eight. These are $3.49 at Hobby Lobby. So these will make a nice ornament too. These probably would make a better hang tag or uh, uh, to add to a gift than the three inch ones. But we're going to redo this in this size because I'm determined that this video is not going to be taken down. So, and instead of using a small wooden bead for Jesus' head, I am using these furniture plugs. So, I'm going to turn you down so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to get this done. So, I'm taking the peg people and I'm just putting a light whitewash over them. Just real light just a little bit of color. Now you can leave this step out if you like the raw wood look. And what I'm using is the Waverly chalk paint in ivory. Now you didn't see me do this step last night. I already had this done, but I figured I would do it from the very beginning because I'm determined if I have to do this video every day, I'm doing it every day. So there we go, we have it just a light color. Also, with the, the furniture um, cover here, I'm just gonna do a whitewash on it also. Okay. I'm using the last of what's in this container. I keep it turned upside down. So this is grunged fabric. And I'm thinking, this is two inch wide. So on Joseph, you don't want to come all the way down to the bottom. You want to leave like an eighth of an inch there, just a little bit, because you'll see, well, these, these two will glue together better than these two. These two are like dome shaped here. So the only place I could glue them is down here at the bottom. And we're still gonna do these the same way. So I'm going almost to the bottom. Wait, I picked up the wrong fabric. We're gonna go with it. So we're gonna do it this way. Almost to the bottom, you want Joseph's head covering not to be as long as Mary's. So I'm going like halfway and over, just marking it, and I'm gonna clip it, and I'm ripping it. If you've hung out with me very long, you know that I ripped the fabric. So I'm just gonna put this back up over his head again so I can get this even on both sides. It's even on both sides. I'm gonna pull this back, holding the sides, and I'm gonna put a dot of glue on the top of his head. And I'm gonna put this back up over top of his head. That's just gonna hold this in place, making sure this is even. It's just gonna hold this in place when we put the, the jute around the head that it doesn't slide. And I'm just gonna put a, just a tiny dot of glue on both sides to hold these sides down. And this is what it should look like. Pull this back right on the back of the head, put a dot of glue, and pull this down over. So it looks like it has wings. Pull the one wing over to the side and glue it.
And the same thing here. Pull this over and glue it. Just pulling it right down to the side on the side and gluing it. And this is what you should have. I'm taking some jute. I'm putting just a tiniest dab on the forehead. Just the tiniest dab. Can you see that? I'm leaving a tail and I'm putting this right into that glue. And if you put the, the jute from the bottom of your glue dab and push it up, you won't see the glue on his forehead. And I'm wrapping this around and making sure that this second piece goes right into that glue. And then in the back, I'm putting a little bit of glue to hold this in place. We don't want it to slide. And I'm bringing these two ends around and I'm making a knot right in that glue that we put on the back. And I'm just going to trim off a little bit. So that's what you should have. So I just remembered something I forgot to grab. I forgot to grab a twig. So Mary, we're doing the same thing, putting a dot of glue on her head to hold this scarf. Now hers, you want it to come almost down and I'm gonna trim this off. I'm just gonna clip this and rip it off. Because remember, we want a little bit of the bottom part of the body to show. So there we go. We're going to glue hers on the side, on each side, and pull this down over. And we're doing the same thing. Put a dot on the back of her head. And this is what we have. But hers, when we pull these wings around, I'll cut off these strings. We wanted to wrap the front of her. We wanted to go all the way across the front of her. So I'll we'll put a dot of glue on the front and bring this one around and totally wrap her. So there's Mary, there's Joseph. We have to put her tie on her head. So hers comes down over her face a little more, so I'm just gonna fold it back a little bit. I'll put a little tiny dot dab of glue and then pull this, fold this back a little bit, just so it's not down in her face. Okay, see how I folded that? So we're gonna put a dot of glue on her head, on her forehead, and we're gonna wrap her headscarf with a tie. Just the same way as we did Joseph's. Glue in the back to hold this from sliding up. And I'm going to tie this off. That didn't get in the glue. There we go. So 
there's Mary. There's Joseph. Now we're making this an ornament, so we need these two to stick together. So we're going to glue right along the sides of their body and stick them together. Now I'm setting them down on a flat surface to make sure that they're even on the bottom. And I'm just gonna hold them together and let that glue catch. So while that glue's drying, we're gonna set them aside and we're working on baby Jesus. So this is just a piece of quilt batting that I have, that I have tea stained that we used on another project. So the last night's was two inch by two inch. This has to be a lot smaller because he's just, because Mary and Joseph are so much smaller. So this is about, about one and a quarter by one and a quarter. Even up these sides. So just like last night, we're taking a corner, we're holding this at an angle, just like that. And we're pulling this corner all the way up to a little above the center. And we're gonna put a little bit of glue, not at the tip, but down a little bit. Because we need a place to nestle his head. Okay, just like you're folding a baby blanket, we're flipping this over and gluing it, flipping that over and gluing it. And that's Jesus' blanket. Hi, Tony. So there's Jesus' blanket. I'll hold that for a second. So we're taking the head. This is a furniture plug. You can use a little bead. And we're going to nestle it down in to that blanket. So you want the head to be a little bit below the blanket. So I'm going to open this up and stick some glue in here. and tuck, tuck this right down in there. So there's our baby Jesus. You know, these need some more glue because these ones touch up higher than those three inch ones did. Okay. So we're taking baby Jesus and we're gonna glue her right across Mary's body at an angle. So I'm gonna take some glue and I'll put it right on the front of her. And I'm going to put that in, put baby Jesus at, at an angle. Okay. We're taking another piece of twine and I'm just gonna figure out how long I want my hanger to be. I'm going to knot the ends. So we have a hanger. I'm going on the back of Mary and Joseph. I'm going to pull their ties. Heads, and I'm going to glue this not quite in the center of their body, but up a little bit higher. And I'm just gonna glue that on there. So there's an ornament. So last night, I didn't bring it in here, we also made this able to sit. So I picked up, last night we used a heart that was scrolled out like this. They didn't have a heart, but they had this piece. So we're going to take Mary and Joseph and we're going to glue them onto this piece. I think I'm going to glue them at an angle because I picked up these tiny little trees too. These are one and a half inches. 
So I thought maybe a couple of these on here would be nice. So I'm gonna put glue on the bottoms of their bodies. And I'm gonna put them on here at an angle. Now, if you're making this a sitter, don't put the hang or the hanger on there, okay? I'm gonna take a couple of these trees and I'm gonna glue them on this other side. Just two is good. Some Spanish moss. And you don't need very much at all. And we're gonna put this right on like that. Just right in the front, we're gonna glue it on. And there you go. You have a sitter, you have a hanger, whichever you prefer. So hopefully this video isn't taken down either because I wanna do this video every day if it is. So there you go. I hope you like this. Thank you for joining me. Come back today at 7 p.m. for our second ornament. Love you guys. Like, share, and comment, and join the Telegram app. It is uh, posted at the top of the page. I also did another, another post of it yesterday. That way you know uh, 30 minutes, half hour before I go live. And um, I hope you like this. This is a tiny little one. So this would be great for presents or if you're giving out to people, just do this little ornament because... There was eight of these people for $3.49. So that would be a cheap gift if you want to ha hand something out at church. And these were 0.87, almost an inch. Almost an inch. So, but there's two different ways you can make it. An ornament or a sitter. Thanks, everyone. See you later. Love you. God bless.